Hello, hello. Yes, of new video. My name is Cameron Argon, and welcome to my channel, Cam Every Day, where I take you into my life and various intimate details. Today, we are talking about my diet and what I eat in a day right now. Because I get a lot of questions about my diet and what am I eating. I'm going to go mainly into what I eat and a little bit of whys. But essentially, this is it. Grass-fed ground beef. This is from a ranch. Bentley Ranch. Grass-fed beef liver. Pasture-raised eggs. And grass-fed raw dairy. Now, all these foods are very natural. They all come from their, an animal in its natural state. Uh, a couple benefits from that are vitamins. When the animal is eating a healthy diet of grass, it converts all the nutrients in the grass into the food. Where if your animal is eating grain, it's not doing that. I could get into all the specifics of all these things, but um, I'm not going to because I've tried to do that a few times and it just ends up being too long of a video. But uh, this is essentially it. This food is all extremely nutrient dense. I would even say this ground beef is, you know, this is like most of the, the meat I, I guess I eat and it's, look how much fat is in there. All the vitamins are in the fat, people. Beef liver, if you've never heard of it, or heard of people eating liver, it's uh, one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. It's a really high source of vitamin A in the animal form, which is extremely, uh, not just beneficial, but almost necessary to your life. Uh, these, I usually eat about 12 of these a day. I used to eat about 12 a day, now I eat about 6 a day. This is actually empty. And I eat these raw. I simply crack them into a glass and drink it, usually one or two at a time. I usually drink milk all day. I get this from a local farm. It's unpasteurized raw dairy. There's a million, bajillion benefits to raw dairy. The FDA will tell you it's there's no difference and it's bad for you, but you know, it's, it's kind of up to you if you want to listen to the government. Uh, this, I don't know. This stuff has uh, really changed my life around this kind of core group of ingredients. I mean, you can definitely add different stuff to this. Like, you can definitely get different cuts of meat. It's got to be grass-fed, though. Otherwise, your omega ratios will get out of whack. Omega-3s are uh, really good in all these foods as well, and that having that ratio of a 3s to 6s is going to make you feel great. Um, this diet has allowed me to regain a lot of strength. It's allowed me, allowed me to rebuild my body. It's allowed me to quit multiple substances that I've had dependencies on, such as coffee. I've been an ad avid coffee drinker more than 10 years and I've able, been able to kick that with this naturally. I didn't even need to like commit to not drinking coffee. I just kind of, I don't know, it just eventually started tasting like dirty water, which is kind of a bummer because I really loved it, but um, I'm actually really stoked that I don't need it anymore and I can just kind of pop out of bed like a normal person. This food is kind of expensive. Actually, the beef is actually a pretty good price for grass-fed beef, $5 a pound. Uh, pasture eggs, eggs are usually $5 for a thing like this. And then the milk's usually $10 a gallon. But uh, when this is all you eat and you don't eat out, it really doesn't make a huge difference at the end of the month. I'm sure, you know, if you got to eat one day, it's like cost of 15 bucks. That's like, you know, pretty much an entire, entire day's worth of extremely high quality food. So there's, you know, there's probably ways to tune it down a little bit. I kind of strive for the the optimal stuff, you know, the pasture raised and the grass fed. Um, but yeah, 
people have been asking, and I'm just telling you, right now, as of this date, this is my typical diet. I usually eat a pound of this about a week. So, lately I've been kind of calming down, because vitamin A goes really well with vitamin D. And if you could see outside, there's not a lot of vitamin D going on. So, I'm kind of not eating as much liver as I would or will be in the sunnier months coming forth. But you can get, you can get vitamin D from eggs and uh, the dairy as well, but definitely not as good as the sun. I'm getting too much into the vitamins. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to say that this is what I eat. Um, if I change anything, I'm going to be updating you guys. There will be some updates throughout the year, though. Like, I am going to go hunting this year, and I will replace my beef with the real shit, which is wild game. But yeah, let me know if uh, you guys have any questions, and uh, I'll do my best to make more videos about them. Thanks for watching. I forgot to add how I cook and prepare the meat. The, now, this stuff's kind of extreme, and I, I kind of got myself into this slowly. It wasn't like a, you know, I bought liver and started doing this right away with it. And I would only recommend doing this with the highest quality liver you can find, which is grass-fed. I eat the liver raw. I cut it up, and I put it in a jar like this. And then I just eat from it, usually every morning, or for lunch, or for breakfast and lunch. I usually don't eat it a lot for dinner, or like right before I go to bed. And the ground beef, I make like a fat patty, and I just sear it on both sides very lightly. So it's basically just warmed in the middle, but still raw. I figured I'd add that in here. Thanks for watching. And this is my dog, Rosa. She's very nice. She's a rescued pit bull. And this is my cat, Dottie, or Dumb Dottie, or Naughty Dottie, or Thotty Dottie. She's 17 years old, and we inherited her. From my family, of course. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.